Hi there, I am Sujata, founder of Grace USMLE Tutoring. I partnered with Achievable to create a comprehensive USMLE Step 1 course for medical students. It combines my years of USMLE tutoring experience with Achievable's powerful software. To learn more and gain access to a free trial, visit achievable.me. Hi everyone, this is Sujata. I am the founder of Grace USMLE and USMLE author at Achievable. In this video, I would like to discuss degenerative disorders of the brain and dementia. So what is dementia? Dementia is the loss of cognitive functioning to an extent that it interferes with day-to-day -day activities of a person. The common functions that are affected in dementia include memory, language skills, visual perception, problem solving, ability to self-manage, and some others. It may affect a person's personality and they may not be able to control their emotions. Dementia is a common symptom of neurodegenerative disorders. The common neurodegenerative disorders are Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Lewy body dementia, Huntington's disease, prion diseases, frontotemporal dementia, and Pick's disease. Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia in old people. It is characterized by the deposition of A-beta amyloid, an abnormal tau protein in the neurons, which is toxic to the neurons and leads to apoptosis and neuronal cell death. As a result, levels of acetylcholine reduce in the brain. Characteristic changes are seen in the hippocampus and entorhinal cortex of the medial temporal lobe and the frontal lobe. It is associated with mutations in the presenilin genes 1 and 2. There is an increased risk with the presence of APOE4 allele and in patients who have Down syndrome. On gross examination of the brain, there is cerebral cortical atrophy that affects the hippocampus and the entorhinal cortex, but spares the areas in the primary motor, primary sensory, and the visual cortex of the brain. The lateral ventricles appear to be dilated, the gyri they appear narrow, while sulci widen. The diagnostic features of Alzheimer's disease on histopath examination are neurofibrillary tangles and amyloid plaques. The neurofibrillary tangles are nothing but fibrils of abnormally phosphorylated tau protein. Amyloid plaques consist of beta pleated sheets of A beta amyloid deposits. Frontotemporal dementia is the most common cause of dementia in people under the age of 60 years. It is characterized by progressive degeneration of the frontal and temporal lobes of the brain. It presents with dementia and personality changes, such as a loss of emotional control, disinhibition, etc. On histopath examination, in frontotemporal dementia, there is characteristic vacuolization of the superficial cortex, also known as spongiosis. Other changes include loss of neurons and gliosis. To differentiate frontotemporal dementia from Alzheimer's disease, it is important to remember that in Alzheimer's disease, dementia occurs first, whereas in frontotemporal dementia, personality changes precede the onset of dementia. Otherwise, in advanced stages, both of them are clinically similar. Pick's disease is a type of frontotemporal dementia that is characterized by the presence of tau-positive cytoplasmic inclusions in neurons of the frontotemporal lobes. These cells are called as pick cells and the deposits are called as pick bodies. Parkinson's disease presents with rigidity resting tremors also called as pill rolling tremors abnormal gait like festinating gait and shuffling gait mask face autonomic in disturbances and dementia mutations in alpha synuclein which is a synaptic protein encoded by the snca gene on chromosome 4 and mutations in parkin gene are seen in parkinson's disease exposure to toxins like arsenic MPTP and phenothiazines increase your risk for Parkinson's disease. 
patients suffering from Gaucher's disease and Wilson's disease have a higher risk of developing Parkinson's disease. Alpha cyanucleine deposits in the dopamine secreting neurons of the substantia nigra, which leads to cell death and it interferes with the functions of the cell. On gross examination, there is depigmentation of the substantia nigra. On histopath examination, the alpha synuclein deposits can be seen as eosinophilic intracytoplasmic deposits, which are also known as Lewy bodies. Lewy body dementia is clinically and pathophysiologically similar to Parkinson's disease. It can be differentiated by Parkinson's disease by the timing of dementia and movement disorders. In Lewy body dementia, the dementia appears within the first year of Parkinsonism, while in Parkinson disorder, the movement disorders, they appear before the onset of dementia. Lewy body dementia is characterized by the presence of REM sleep behavior disorder, for example, acting out in dreams, and also by visual hallucinations along with the dementia. In progressive supranuclear palsy, there is dementia along with difficulties with balance, which may cause frequent falls, and movement disorders of the eye, like there may be blepharospasm, inability to open the eye, or problems with blinking, which may make the eye dry and red. Huntington's disease is an inherited autosomal dominant condition that is characterized by dementia along with abnormal jerky twitching moments called chorea and emotional and behavioral and personality changes. It is caused by mutations in the Huntington or HTT gene, which leads to an abnormal number of CAG or CAG repeats, which are nothing but cytosine, adenine and guanine repeats. There is atrophy of the caudate nucleus and a reduction in the levels of GABA, acetylcholine and glutamate in the brain. All prion diseases are characterized by abnormal folding of the prion proteins. They may be idiopathic, iatrogenic or inherited. Inherited prion diseases are caused by mutations in the gene that codes for prion protein, which is called as a PRNP gene. Iatrogenic conditions may result after corneal transplants, after implantation of human dura mater, or implantation or treatment with cadaveric pituitary extracts. creutzfeldt jakob disease is one of the very common prion diseases. Prion diseases are characterized by progressive dementia, myoclonus, hallucinations, etc. They are self-transmissible and are invariably fatal. The abnormality in prion disease is a conversion of normally soluble prion protein, which is PRP, to an insoluble version of the prion protein called as PRPCS. The insoluble prion protein cannot be lysed by proteolytic enzymes called proteases and forms deposits within the neurons, which causes apoptosis and cell death. For more details on neurodegenerative disorders, I would like you to refer to Achievable USMLE online textbook, section 4.2.5 for pathology of the central and peripheral nervous system. Hope you liked today's video. Thank you for watching.